Hi guys, welcome back. In the vice I've got a fully mill competition heavyweight, size 10, bronze. And for the thread I'm going to be using a uni thread in 8 and it's in red. I'm going to be tying a cormorant. Let's catch a thread in. This is the one I use, uh, I use it all over, but particularly the lake of teeth. I've had quite a lot of, quite a lot of nice fish at the, the lake with this, fish, uh, this fly. So, uh, uh, in terms of confidence, this is the one I go to at the, at the lake. So, uh, I like to put a wee, some people don't bother with a wee tail, I, I, I like a wee tail. So I'm going to use some crystal flash. This is a, it's a red crystal flash. And uh, I've got this old tank of crystal flash here. I, I don't really know where it came from or what make it is. It's a kind of, it's a sort of multicoloured thing. I don't know how well you can see that in the camera, but it's got a few different colours there, so... Just take only need a strand or two of each, and uh, you basically just want to get them together and just just fold them over two or three times. Doesn't need to be a big tail; it's just a wee, just a wee bit of flash. That's about right. Catch that in. Bring that away. Just in behind it, just to prop it up, and then you only want really it's just a wee stub. That's all you want. It's just uh, nothing too long. That's perfect. And then we're going to catch in some red holographic tinsel. This is just a, a medium one. You can tie these in all sizes. Uh, I, I like a I like a size twelve. Twelve is probably my my favourite size. It's just the, the reason I'm tying the ten is because the camera picks it up uh, there. Then we're going to go for some peacock herald. Just trim that way. Two strands. Catch that in. And then you want some some super glue or some varnish, just a wee drop, just to help adhere the the peacock to the to the thread to the shank. Get rid of any excess. And then yeah, when you wind down your peacock kettle. Don't want to go right up to the head. Catch it in two or three mil before the before the head, before the eye. Trim that away. And then come up your rib. I always wind the opposite way from the whatever way you've wound your material, but probably wouldn't matter too much in this fly. Catch that in, hold it back, just tie it, just form a wee, wee head. And then most people use marabou, uh, the, the tops of the marabou for the for the, the, the tail of the fly or the, the head of the fly. But uh, I've got some rabbit here, yeah, it's just, it's just a zonker patch. Some black, uh, 
that rabbit for? Just want to take maybe maybe an inch or so. Trim it away. You don't have to be too particular with this stuff. Uh, it can be a wee bit fidgety work to work with. You're not going to get the absolute perfect uh, line or perfect uh, profile that you could get uh, with a marabou. So you just want it pretty much to the to the tail, maybe even just shy of the tail. That's about right there. Trim away all this. I'm going to just even that all because it's not very even. That's us. I like quite a big head on these flies as well. That's why I use the use the red thread as opposed to the black. People say because it's got the tail, then it's got it's not a cormorant, but listen, it is what it is. It's just the way I, I tie them. So, see, I like a nice, nice big head. It's looking no bad. Just wait, that, and that gives you an idea of how it looks in the water. It, I just find the there's so much more movement with the rabbit. It's just, I mean, I, I only changed to using the rabbit maybe three or four years ago, and uh, the difference it's made in the amount of fish I catch is it's been incredible. You still catch fish in the marabou ones, don't get me wrong, but uh, I, I noticed a big, big difference uh, when I changed. A couple of little finishes. That's us. Trim that weight. Because it's quite a big head, you need a couple of coats of varnish. See that? That doesn't look like much there, but when you wet it, it's got a nice profile. As I say, a couple of coats of varnish in the head. Plenty of it, let it soak in. Just make sure the eye is clear, grab a wee feather if I can find one somewhere. I'll do it. And that's a cormorant, or a, a version of it. So I give, give it a try, tie one up, and uh, be nice to know if anybody's uh, tying these up. And, catching fish with them but I've, I've had a few messages uh, so far uh, people want me to tie them up and, and, and various things and people catching catching fish it's always nice to hear people catching fish and on uh, flies that I've been tying so uh, any 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 feedback would be would be appreciated okay guys thanks for watching